of the best things about living in Orlando is that there's never a shortage of things to do. Today, Manny and I are heading over to Disney Springs um, because we're going to take the boat and we're going to go visit the Port Orleans Resort. Now, neither of us have ever been there before, but I've been to New Orleans several times, so I'm definitely interested to see Disney's take on what New Orleans is. So we thought we'd take you along with us. We're doing a daycation, not quite a staycation, um, but it should make for a fun day. So let's go check it out. We parked in the Lime Garage at Disney Springs. Okay, so we're now in Disney Springs and we're looking for the boat um, to take over to the Port Orleans Resort. I was 90% sure that the boat that we needed to take was located in the marketplace because that seems to be the only open boat area these days. But before leading you astray, I just wanted to confirm for myself. Okay, so right past um, the Rainforest Cafe and the Art of Disney is where you're going to find the boat transportation and that's going to be the boat that's going to take you to the Port Orleans Resort. So there are two parts to the Port Orleans Resort. There's the Riverside and then there's the French Quarter. Um, we plan to visit both, but I think we're gonna go to the French Quarter first because the one thing that I really want to taste at the Port Orleans are the beignets. The boat ride was a relaxing 20 to 30 minute cruise down the Sasagula River from Disney Springs to the French Quarter, which was much longer than I expected. Welcome to the Port Orleans French Quarter. The French Quarter is one of Disney's more moderate resorts when it comes to price. As you arrive off the boat, you're greeted by colorful New Orleans style buildings, cobblestone streets, gas lamps, wrought iron balconies, fragrant magnolia blossoms, and little European style garden park areas around each building. Disney really thought about every detail. There were horse hitching posts, just as you would see in New Orleans, all over the property. And as energizing and colorful and just fun as the jazzy Cajun pageantry was to visit, I really felt like I was miles from a theme park. The French Quarter was quiet, carefree, and serene with its beautiful landscape. Even though it was hot, it was so nice to just stroll around because it was so peaceful. For your stay in the French Quarter, there are queen and king beds available offering garden, river, pool, and standard views and were ornate and eclectic stylings of the French Quarter apparent in all of the room's details. Okay, so we've just made it to Jackson Square. If you've really been to New Orleans, you know that there's a famous Jackson Square there. So I love that Disney has made their own. The resort's main building was inside Jackson Square, which was quite fitting because this square is New Orleans' most recognizable historic landmark. I thought that the back of the building from where we entered was far more impressive than the front entrance of the building.
Inside is where you could find the registration area and what I was most looking forward to, which was those yummy Mickey-shaped beignets that could be found inside the Scat Cats Club Cafe. Inside the cafe, it was decked out in jazz memorabilia and even the ceiling had personality. So of course we had to stop and get some of the Disney beignets here at the French Quarter at the Port Orleans Hotel. And we got with it some chocolate dip as well as some strawberry dip for it. Oops, which I just spilled all over me. <laughs> oh well. But yum. <laughs> oh, they're hot. They're like really hot. Oh my gosh, so good. Water. So good, oh my gosh, yum. The cafe also offered a jazzed up version of beignets with your choice of Bailey's, Kahlua, or rum chata. But I was perfectly happy with ours and I think the strawberry dipping sauce was both of our favorites. If you are around in the evening, make sure to pop into the Scat Cat Lounge, which opens at 5 p.m. to unwind New Orleans style with some great sounds of jazz music of the French Quarter. Next to Scat Cat Cafe, you'll find the Sasagula Floatworks and Food Factory. Here, you'll find a taste of Mardi Gras at this festive quick serve restaurant that features classic Cajun and Creole cuisine. You'll find breakfast, lunch, and dinner items $14.99 and under. I had to check out the Jackson Square shop. Here you'll find all of your Disney needs, as well as some fun New Orleans favorites like Cafe de Mon Coffee, Beignet Mix, and Praline Mix to bring some New Orleans home with you. But one also can't forget the New Orleans merchandise featuring Princess Tiana and her frog, because your trip to Disney's Port Orleans definitely wouldn't be complete without that. checked out the South Quarter Games Arcade, which featured video games, pinball, air hockey, and more. Just tons of fun. After that, we headed back outside to check out the pool area. On our way, we passed some jazz-loving gators, and there was also a nice relaxing spot for the adults that was very inclusive. <laughs> How 
how great are these guys? Now, whether you're about to take a leisurely stroll along the Sasagula River or hang at the pool, Mardi Gras seem like the place to go, where according to them, every day is Fat Tuesday. Mardi Gras offered New Orleans specialty drinks, frozen or on the rocks, wine, sangria, and draft beers. From there, I finally paraded myself around the Mardi Gras themed pool area to find King Neptune and a giant sea serpent with waterside scales and a water slide tongue to slide down. There were more jazz loving gators and some fun clamshell water features. <laughs> Okay, where else do you get to go on a water slide that's an alligator? And the slide portion is actually his tongue. This is probably the most incredible kids area I've ever seen. The French Quarter also offered other amenities such as jogging paths, bike in Surrey bike rentals, a little playground for the kids, catch and release fishing, complimentary movies under the stars, Cajun campfire activities, and even horse-drawn carriage rides for seating up to four next to the Sasagula River. You'll want to check on these in the main building during your stay. Other benefits include extra park hours, complimentary Disney boat and bus transportation, complimentary Wi-Fi, online check-in, housekeeping laundry and mail services, and of course, assistance with your Walt Disney World vacation, including resort package bookings, tickets, and Walt Disney World dining experiences. So I definitely think that Disney has done a really great job in the design of this French Quarter area. I think it does feel like the French Quarter. Um, the colorful buildings, the wrought iron, the little nooks of places to sit, the park areas. New Orleans itself feels very European and I think here um, at Disney, at Port Orleans, the French Quarter, I think it does feel like New Orleans. And um, it is really peaceful and it's really beautiful just to walk through. In my opinion, I think that Disney's Port Orleans French Quarter is one of the Disney World Resort's best kept secrets. I think this resort really does a great job of transporting you for a full cultural experience while still having some, of course, Disney moments. Rates are going to vary based on what time of year you're booking but this resort is one of the cheaper Walt Disney Resorts to stay in. So as you can see, you're going to want to check it out. Also, make sure to stay tuned because I am next heading to check out Disney's Port Orleans Riverside. See you next time.